My lord, welcome to Tatooine. If you hold a moment, I can provide directions to the research center. You have confused me with someone else. You're... sorry, my error. Much of the Imperial traffic we get is assigned to the archaeological expedition. Security, scientific equipment... They don't tell me what it's for. If you're going to be here long, you might wish to consult with Captain Gola. We wouldn't want to interfere with Sith activity. You have been most helpful. These are the Centre's coordinates. I'll alert them that you may be coming. My lord, I'm sorry for whatever business brings you to this worthless wasteland. You interested in striking a blow against the Exchange? Sooner the Empire tightens the noose, the sooner most of us can ship home. Gangsters are smuggling our explosives out of Mos Ela, selling them to the Republic. We need to show them it's a bad idea. Bring me up to speed. The Exchange has been hiding their haul in back alleys until they consolidate for a big shipment. We need our explosives back, and we need to find out who's running their operation. If you'll help, I'll get you locations for all suspected stashes. But be careful. We've already lost good soldiers to the Exchange Guards. I'll handle anything that dares to get in my way. If any of their men attack, search them. They must have a base, a way to communicate. Retrieving the explosives is important, but we must get to their leaders to stop this problem for good. Keela, I need those water readings. We won't get more supplies without a report. Sorry, sir. I'll check as soon as I can. Sand in the gauges. Blast! Bring in some local technicians. See if they can fix us up while I greet our guests. My lord, Barden Gola, Imperial Reclamation Service. I've run excavations on Zeost, Malachor II, and Nimdrovis. But add a little heat and dust and we've got nothing but trouble. Your man at the spaceport said this was a research center. Not exactly up to standard, but yes, Moss Eli is our base of operations. My captain, you should have alerted me. You know I enjoy guests. Captain Golar and his crew report to me. I am Darth Silthar. They are my hands, digging and scraping where I cannot. We came to Tatooine to solve a mystery. One of dead men and desert secrets. Not for conquest, but for power. I've come to Tatooine in the name of Darth Barriss. I know your master. Perhaps we can find common ground. The Empire recently found a damaged shuttle drifting through deep space. It came from a Zerka Corporation research base on Tatooine. Zerka had Tatooinean artifacts they claimed were the find of the millennium. Mystery devices with the energy throughput of a sun. But a month after the shuttle launch, their research base disappeared. Zerka never came back. Somewhere in this wasteland is power enough to destroy a world, remake a galaxy. My team is going to find the Zerka base and these artifacts along with it. We will learn their secrets. Will you join us? Tell me more about Zerka. Fools who believe that research and technology are a match for true power. They will not interfere. Now, scattered across the desert, sheltered within caves, live a people called the Sons of Palawa. They are an exacting and ritualistic tribe, come to Tatooine to test themselves against the elements. A settlement nearby has something we need. What does this tribe have to do with your expedition? They have a clue. Uh, what did you call them, Captain? Experimental battle droids, armed with turbo lasers, shields, and who knows what else. Circa droids, no doubt rebuilt by the sons of Palawa. And the tribals are not inclined to share. Perhaps we can negotiate an exchange. After the Empire took Mos Ela, the sons of Palawa decided we were invaders. They'll shoot anyone who gets close. But why should that stop you? If the droids truly are from Zerka, I want their secrets. Dissect them, peel the droids' armor, and bring the captain their verba brains. Then they will lead us to the missing Zerka base. I don't really want to 
talk right now? Do something else, yeah? My lord, your reputation for ruthless perfection precedes you. Was that rather bold faced flattery a preface to asking my assistance? My name is Commander Villos. I came to Tatooine to eliminate the Jawa problem. I was wondering, in all of your travels, have you had much experience with force use among lesser alien species? There is little I do not know about the force. I ask specifically about Jowers, the natives here. I was told to expect no trouble. Is it possible they use the force? A dozen of my officers were killed by the vermin, all with burns from lightning. If the Jawas are using the Force to resist our occupation, we must bring proof to the Dark Council, so that they may crush the threat. What would it take to convince them? I have some information from the one patrol that managed to return. The Jawa tribes are not as isolated as we thought. Apparently, they communicate with each other using secret relays in the deep desert. If they're training Force users, those relays will be our way to find out where and how. What are you thinking? Bug the relays? Exactly, but it's harder than it sounds. They're paranoid wretches, reconstituted assault droids around every relay, and the messages go in coded bursts. The communications relays are in the desert outside Mos Ila. If you want to help, plant these bugs on them, then hunt down the ranking Jawas in the area. If we're lucky, one of them has the cipher for the code. Your smuggling ring is broken. Here's everything I could salvage. Excellent. I was hoping that was you I was hearing about. The local authorities have been all in a dither about an unprovoked massacre of suspected exchange members. I hope this compensates you sufficiently for your time. Criminals and vagabonds. Everywhere on Tatooine, the Empire's great works are besieged by criminals and vagabonds. Major Vesa, you have a guest. What? My lord, such an unexpected pleasure. Guided to this backwards province to bring order and discipline, no doubt? Bring me up to speed. As I was just explaining to the lazy sots in my command, the Exchange Crime Syndicate is flagrantly defying the Empire's directives. They're banned by Imperial law, yet they've given refuge here to dozens of murderers, spice dealers. They've even started processing spice outside Mos Illa. And yet my men refuse to act. But sir, we lost 15 men in our last attempt. Quiet! I am well versed in this company's many failures. Clearly, I must turn elsewhere to see Imperial law restored. I can teach this scum to properly respect the Empire. Excellent. A Sith will prove a powerful lesson. The job is simple. The spice processing operation outside Mos Illa must be completely obliterated, and its guards killed as a lesson. With their men dead and machinery destroyed, the message will be clear. 
I look forward to seeing you when it is done. and the tears evaporate in the heat of our sins. I think you mean from the heat of our suns, Isabeau. No, child. There is a dark presence newly arrived on Tatooine. Ah, Sith. You made it. The hostels outside were no match for you, I see. Sorry if I tracked blood in on your floor. The world is an hourglass, ever being turned. The sands wipe away all traces of the past. You are the seeker Sharak spoke of. You wish to understand the Jedi's purpose in the lair of the Sand Demon. You see it correctly. My eyes may be aged and failing, but my mind sees. Please, Isabeau, make haste. Tell my friend what you know. I will remain here after to hear your wisdom. Fine. Gather close. Few are aware that Tatooine was once a place of positive force energy. Jedi made pilgrimages here to renew and purify. The Sands speak of a ritual called the Demon's Blood. This is likely what the Jedi that Sharak witnessed was engaged in. Explain this ritual. The Demon's Blood. A Jedi seeking enlightenment would cover himself in fresh Sand Demon blood and enter the village of the Savage Ones. Cowering before the Demon Slayer, the Savage Ones would reveal the path to self-discovery and to that which the Slayer seeks. Do you mean the Sand People? Tatooine makes most who come here savage. And the Sand People have been here all along. Isabeau, as I told you, the girl faced the beast but left it unwounded. There must be another way to bathe in the beast's blood. But you'll have to discover that for yourself, if you care to. To know where this Jedi girl went, you'll have to perform the ritual yourself, and then see if the Savage Ones speak. I appreciate your help and insights. Step lightly on my desert. It has been through so much in its life. Here are the coordinates you will need. After you face the Sand Demon, I will meet you at the Sand People compound. If the legend is true, and the Sand People have something to offer you, I wish to see it with my own eyes. <laughs> 